forecast from Dubai. I'm joined by uh, uh, I'm joined by Deepa Sasha Nandani, head of research at Century Financial. Thank you, Deepa, for joining me today. Let me start by asking you about uh, the calls for the Fed to uh, slower the tightening pace, even if inflation is higher than expected today. So, do you believe that the Fed will really respond to such call, or do you think what they will care about is the inflation for this month and next month? First? So, as far as the Federal Reserve is concerned, they have been focusing on inflation. They are very clear about uh, the core numbers. I mean, they need to bring inflation under control. So, uh, their focus will be on uh, on ensuring that uh, inflation numbers do get at least um, uh, ahead of expectations and they come below expectations. So if that happens, then yes, we can see the Fed, uh, you know, probably slow down to some extent. But if that's not the case, uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell uh, very clearly said in the last meeting that he's going to continue uh, with uh, the rate hikes and uh, their focus is uh, to bring inflation close to their uh, target range. So as far as um, at the Federal Reserve is concerned, we are not uh, expecting them to slow down at least uh, in the near future, at least until uh, we do not see the inflation numbers come down. Historically, the year that follows midterm elections is positive for equities. Do you believe that uh, the factors this year are the same and so we should expect equities in the US to go up again or next year or do you think it's different this time around? Right. Historically, uh, generally, it's been seen in the past that uh, markets rally almost by 34% on an average following the lows of uh, midterm elections. But this year uh, it has been an unprecedented uh, year. We've not seen rate hikes like this uh, in the past when, when midterm elections were there. So, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to say what's going to happen in the future. But uh, from what we can see, the picture looks like... Um, once the the earnings uh, start to uh, get reflect uh, to reflect what the slowdown has been in the economy and once companies start uh, reducing their uh, earnings estimate and the forecast that's when uh, you know the markets would bottom out and it would be a buying opportunity so i mean most of the negative news so far seems to be priced in but uh, we still believe uh, a lot would be dependent on uh, the federal reserve and the inflation numbers going forward do you believe that the declines we've seen in equity markets have priced in that inflation today will be higher than expected? Or is it just like JP Morgan says, if it is higher than expected today, we could see a drop by more than 6%? So I believe uh, yesterday the drop that we saw in markets, uh, some of it uh, was of course because of the uncertainty ahead of the inflation numbers, but also because of uh, the, the results from the midterm elections. Uh, they were hoping for uh, the Republicans also, uh, you know, to uh, win in by some majority, but that didn't happen. So uh, looking at that, also markets have uh, reacted because previously uh, the, the Republicans were uh, showing a great number, uh, but that's not the case now. So that has also reflected uh, in uh, the, uh, you know, the move in the markets yesterday. And of course, uh, uncertainty ahead of the CPI numbers. So what we believe is that going forward, uh, if the, the CPI doesn't correct and stands at what it was uh, previously near near 8.2% uh, and doesn't come down to as expected uh, to 7.9%, then definitely uh, it would be a, a, a scary day for markets uh, because, uh, uh, you know, that would mean that the Federal Reserve will go ahead with uh, another, probably another 75 basis point hike or a bare minimum 50 basis point hike in the next meeting. So that is uh, uh, not a, a very good picture going forward. But if numbers come down, then yes, there's, uh, there's good hope for markets. Republicans are at least uh, close to getting a majority in the House. So my question is, what sectors in your view uh, could see more gains in light of a uh, split Congress? So uh, what's going to happen is that in case if we see a split Congress, uh, the, the fiscal uh, spending will, uh, will definitely uh, be lower than what was uh, previously expected uh, and probably, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, they would not be sponsoring the war uh, to such an extent. So that would also be uh, a 
plus side for uh, the markets overall uh, the markets could uh, you know react uh, in a positive way if uh, if it is a split uh, government because that would uh, like i said the expenditure would be lower which is obviously positive for uh, uh, the stock markets but as far as uh, the sectors are concerned i think a lot uh, rather than uh, the government a lot would be dependent on on uh, the Thank inflation you so numbers much, Deepa, Sancha, Sasha Nanandani. Head of Research at Century Financial. Sorry to interrupt you. It's the end of the show. Thank right. you so much for having joined us today. Thank and you so much. Hope to see you again. No